Welcome back to my, I would say now, um, four-part series of my Arduino controlled box turn trick. Um, yeah, today I want to show you what hardware um, and IT components you need to build this trick. First of all, of course, you need an Arduino. It's the Arduino uh, Uno uh, version 3. Um, you can use any Arduino there. So, in, in my next version, I would use maybe I would use an Arduino Mini Pro because that saves a lot of space. Um, but almost every Arduino uh, Uno would work here. To see what's going on um, with our chick and to to edit the settings of our chick, we need a, a display. This is a, a 0 0.96 inch sync uh, OLED display for Arduino. It's just four pins. It is controlled via L2C. Um, and there we will display our, our menu. Of course, we need a controller board for the chick. This PCB I etched on my own, um, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. Um, I would say I'll start on the top. Here we have some terminal blocks where the, the buttons for the chick will connect. So there's an uh, up, down button, enter button and cancel. Um, then we have, of course, here a voltage regulator. This voltage regulator turns down the voltage from uh, whatever comes in from this block to um, 5 volts. Um, this here, this two blocks is for the for the stepper motor driver. So we're using an DRV8225, I think. Um, it's called. Then this is just a five volt output and ground. Um, here we have the, the the terminal blocks for the stepper motor. So we have four wires for the stepper motor for the two coils here. Uh, and this is just for um, the voltage input. Uh, I told you we need a driver to, to control the stepper motor. This is one of those drivers. Um, the manufacturer is Polulu, I think. Um, and one of these drivers costs about three bucks. Um, and it's quite easy, you just put it in here. And that's it. You can control the the, uh, the the current from for the motor here with this little screw. Um, and there are a lot of tutorials uh, on the web where you can uh, where it's shown how to to set the, the current right for your motor. Um, this stepper motor driver here supports up to 2.5 amps. So of course we need a stepper motor. So this has these four wires go exact straight in these two terminal blocks. We need a little fan here to cool down the, the stepper motor driver and also the voltage regulator. And we need four of those buttons here to control our chick and to navigate through our menu. I printed a little housing for my chick where all the electronics find place. So I would say let's build it.
that's it for part 2.5. See you in part 3.